Welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name is Gazy, and this is going to be a solely and holy episode because uh, there's something I did want to talk about. Uh, is the lighting all right? Let me, man, I hope the lighting's okay. It's a pretty cloudy day here in Sodo. This is a part of, uh, of uh, like downtown Orlando that's considered Sodo. It's like South Downtown, and there's a lot of nice shops, and it's pretty cool. But uh, there's something I wanted to talk about, and it's been like, um, like affecting, like it's really struck a chord with me. Um, it's the fact that a lot of people, a lot of Christians, you know, I've always, I've always confessed that I am a Christian, and what it is is that um, there's a lot of people, a lot of Christians, they are repeat, repeating the same thing. Uh, it's a religion. It's not a. It's a relationship, not a religion, and they, and they say that a lot. A lot of Christians are like, it's a relationship. What I have with Jesus Christ is a relationship. It's not religion. And that effect, I don't like the sound of that. And I'm kind of gotten tired of hearing that. Like, that this is a, like this faith that we have, it's a, it's a, it's a relationship, not a religion. And there, one of the reasons why it affects me is that, okay, I look at, like, if it's a relationship, then I should see certain things. I, I should see some fruit that's being developed from a relationship. You can tell if someone's in a relationship or not, you know. Some things are more significant signs of telling if someone's in a relationship than others. Um, and that's, that's what begs the question. Is the relationship that uh, people like, you know, myself, is the relationship that Christians have when they say that they have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, is it uh, Facebook friendly? Is it just for Facebook that they just like write that they're you know that you know I'm I'm dating Jesus or in relationship with Jesus? Is that it? Is the relationship that people have with uh, with their with God just a like a like a selfie picture relationship where every time people go to church they have to like take selfies of themselves so they can show that they're going to church? What kind of like I'm seeing a lot of poor, a lot of poor relationships uh, in my in this in this time. I mean, you don't even got to be a Christian to notice that there are a lot of people that say they're in relationships and it's only for like two weeks or three weeks. Or it's like or it's just a physical relationship where you're just having sex and whatever. Is that a relationship at all? So the idea that people say, "Oh, I got a rela- I got a relationship with Jesus Christ," I'm like, well, what kind of relationship is it? Because the relationships that people have had with God in the Bible are till death do they part. You know, there was Stephen who was stoned to death because of what he believed. The Apostle Paul ended up losing his life. His name, was, God changed his entire name for, and God showed him what it was like to serve. This guy was, he was whipped this guy was beaten. This guy was in like uh, running away from the mob, running away from mob crowds. When was the last time your relationship with God suffered the same way? So it's this is what really ticks me off that people say they have a relationship with uh, Jesus and they don't suffer. They don't go through any problems. Like, it, like okay, you just see you see the Lord on Sunday and that's it. You give a little offering because you want to feel good. You listen to a little bit of Hillsong, do you? Do you? You know, there's no there's no hard times. It's never... People who always say these things, that they're in a relationship with God, like, it, it's never... It's always in health. It's always in prosperity. And it's never in sickness. They never go through hard times. It bothers me that... Since when was this... When was it bad to consider... Uh, this a religion? Whoever said that it was ro- it was wrong for Christianity to be, to be religion? Like there are practices that if you find them uncomfortable, if you find praying uncomfortable, well then I then you don't have a relationship with God. If you find uh, studying and memorizing scripture um, too hard, if that's uncomfortable, I mean if you if you feel that memorizing some uh, worship song lyrics is enough, you're wrong because. S- the songs that you sing aren't necessarily based on scripture. 
you know, to say I am a friend of God, well, I always go back to that. You guys, if you've seen my podcast, if you've seen the other vlogs, you know, to say I'm a friend of God, the guy who said that I am a friend of God is Abraham. And Abraham was willing to sacrifice, was was going to obey God to the point where he was going to sacrifice his kid because God told him to do that. That's that's a relationship. So I, I I call I throw a flag on the play all the time when people say that they have a relation they have a relationship with God because um, you can you, the Bible says you'll know them by their fruits. So if people say that they got a relationship with God, look at how they treat their friends. Look at how they treat their family members. Look how do they do they often parishion? Do they go to the church? Do they go to church? Do they fellowship with the old people in the church, or do they just stick around with the young people because the young people are cooler and understand them? That's wrong. <laughs> I'm totally against that. I don't believe that. I believe that Christianity is a religion, and it's something that you practice. And there's like hard. It's difficult to serve the Lord. You know, it's not like. People paint Christianity to be like a relationship. It is, but you go through hard times. It's not like it's not till not it's not in richness. It's not, not in health and richness and all that. It's in hard times. It's in the struggles. That's when Jesus Christ is with you the most. It's not like that's when the relationship is tested. No one wants to have their relationship tested anymore. And I, I really wanted to share my opinion on this. Like, there are things that are uncomfortable when it comes to Christianity. Fasting is difficult. When was the last time you fasted in a relationship? You know, when was the last time that you obeyed God to the point of it affecting your lifestyle? If God called you not to do a certain uh, job, even though the job was lucrative. You know, that, that's, that's why this idea of having a relationship with the Lord, it doesn't, it doesn't sync up. Because God... God calls us to do things that are outside of our comfort zone. God calls us to talk and preach the gospel when it's in season and out of season, which means you do you preach the gospel when it's when you're readily available to and when you're not available to. When you're in the workplace and when you have the free time. When you're nervous and when you're not nervous. You know, that's Man, I, there's just like a whole lot of stuff that it affects me when it comes to people saying a relationship with uh, a relationship with God, because I don't I don't see that like oh you, you when you have a relationship it's not about obedience God requires obedience you know that's what God God doesn't want offerings anymore God doesn't want offering God doesn't want sacrifice He wants obedience that's scriptural that's doctrinal so. In what part of a relationship do you need to obey? If God is the God that we talk about, then He's a king. Then He is majestic. Then He is all-powerful. Then He is greater than we. So we should totally be subservient to Him. It's, you know, like, it's not this... Uh, artesian like worship that um that i see so much where everybody wants to go to church and take off their shoes and listen to acoustic acoustic rock and you know just close their eyes and sway a little back and forth no it's when your father died and you need help and mercy and then you go to that god who says that i will never leave you or forsake you that's when you worship it's when there's problems in your family when your kids are going out of control and you try to raise them up the way the the way the bible says because the bible says train them up and they will not they will not depart from that way so i don't see where this relationship this idea of having a relationship with god um i can see the connection but god is god is god he's holy he's he is holy He's not just your friend. I mean, to be your, like, if God is your friend, then he's your friend that's richer than you, smarter than you, more handsome than you, and still, despite you not living on the right side of the tracks that he lives on, he still goes to your house, and he invites you to his. He's that friend who, just without having any, like, he doesn't, like, he'll pay for your dinner and stuff. God's that kind of friend. But it's that you know he requires you to recognize who he is 
The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. So if you're not living a holy lifestyle and God is holy, therefore you're not in a proper relationship with God. You're not. I don't believe that you are. It's like it's this part of Christi Christianity that we need to recognize that um, that we need his help, that we need his mercy, that we need his love. We need God to help us. It's not about you thinking that you can do it all by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. You need God. You need his strength. So if he is greater than you, then what are you? You are less than him. You're, you're not that, you know. This, these are some of the thoughts that I have when it comes to God, having a relationship with God. He is holy. He is powerful. You know, that we, we, we love talking about the God who will wrap us in his arms. We love talking about God, that he's our father and stuff. What about the God who parted the Red Sea? What about the God who drowned the, 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 the Pharaoh and Pharaoh's uh, army when they were chasing after Israel? What about the God who sent down fire from heaven when Elijah, was, uh, when Elijah called on his name? What about that God? What about this holy God that, that the Old Testament talks about? What about the God who resurrected Jesus Christ from the grave? That's why I think religion is okay. That's why I think Christianity is more religion than relationship. Because if you don't have one, then you can't have the other. If you, if you don't accept God as who he is, then you can't accept him as your father. God's not, a, God's not the father of bastards. So some of my thoughts. You can find me on my page, on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash outlet podcast uh, on YouTube here. Like, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, it took a lot of, I, I don't normally do these things outside, but I really wanted to share some thoughts because um, the Lord touched my heart and uh, he showed me where I was at spiritually and how much more I need to be given to him. And I put those words into my heart and I meditated on them and I and I think that I want I wanted to share them too because um, yeah we all need more of him and less of us so yeah uh, on Twitter at outlet podcast on iTunes SoundCloud Stitcher Radio and Blueberry you can find me just type in outlet podcast you guys God bless connect and recharge I gotta go back to work <laughs>